Hey everyone, welcome back to Of Ash and Dust, uh, where I am unfortunately sad to report that I've been unable to fix this uh, glitch with the enemy AI. Uh, people say it's a glitch, which I kind of had uh, pretty strong suspicion on, but th this is this is not good. I've done all sorts of reloading, uh, short of like restarting the playthrough or like deleting all the files or reloading I've done everything which is kind of a big problem I'm gonna be honest with you hopefully hopefully whatever this error is it is completely isolated to this area and it won't keep happening because if it keeps happening there's the bonfire yeah people were telling me that there are bonfires here they're just um differently placed this is an enemy oh, come on why why does the enemy ai doesn't work like the oh man this is shitty okay so here's what i'm gonna do i'm going to nice <clears throat> i'm going to try to clear out this place asap because Like, who wants to play a Souls area where the enemies are non-hostile? Another whip? All I got to say to that is thanks and no thanks. Both to non-hostile enemies and to another whip. I think we have learned in the previous episode that... Not previous episode, the first episode that whips are not the way to go. So at least to keep it interesting, I'm gonna trigger the Mildred invasion. Oh man, and I was so close to the bonfire too. If I hadn't um, gone into the little tunnel where normally the bonfire would be, things would have been like just A-OK. -okay. so weird it's so weird because they seem to like like they turn towards me and everything and these guys are aggroed so it's like what the fuck and she's not either this is so strange like like I can't even imagine what could be causing this like when you think about it because it's either you think that it would be either all enemies or no enemies but this like weird half state super super strange super strange and again I am like really 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 hoping that this is not gonna be a thing for the other areas as well because if it is uh I, I, I don't know if it is I don't know if I'm gonna continue this because again why would you play a souls game with no enemies but still I'm holding out hope that this is isolated to this place only these guys deal so much damage My Estus flasks are not healing a lot either. There's no actually th this area would be pretty challenging. Oh shit, slumbering flame. New pyromancy. Nice, nice. We appreciate new pyromancies. I'm assuming this is like fuck what is it called you know the one that like leaves a trap out and it explodes I don't remember what the spell is called in like Dark Souls 2 and 3 and all that muddy flint what the oh 
Oh, okay. But do we have to give this to blacksmiths or something? Oh, please tell me this doesn't extend to the entirety of... Listen, the smell of poop has to be gone here. This is like Quelag's area. Oh, there's like cool NPCs here too. Fuck. Yeah, the Blightstown, the Blightstown, Blighttown shit smell. That's what I was trying to say. Is long gone, people. It's like what the fuck. Please, at least. At least tell me the boss works. I think the cutscene is gonna be most likely unchanged. No fucking way. No way. Oh shit. Are you kidding me? There's cut dialogue for Quayla. Okay. Now I kind of don't want to fight her because what if you can proceed without Sorry. I need the souls. I need the souls badly because you may have noticed that in the last episode I lost around 30k and that was not a good feeling so god I'm not dealing a lot of damage to her See, with the health drain, it's... This can get pretty bad. I thought the health drain would be gone by now, honestly. Which just kind of makes uh, power within non-usable because there would be like double health drain on me. What? No fucking way. Are you kidding me? Quail Quayella? Shit. Shit shit shit. I should have expected something. I honestly thought the twist would be just that she has dialogue. Is she getting fucking burnt? Cause she's an idiot? I think she is. Oh, Dark Souls AI never change, please. I think that she's like legit stuck. Because she's stupid. <laughs> yeah, like she... Okay. I'm being low risk here. Look at this efficiency. That's what I call efficiency, productivity, whatever you want to call it. Just be careful. I can see how this can be a bitch. If she wasn't being stupid, okay, I think she's only using uh, Fire Tempest or whatever the spell is called. Cool, that was just a safety heal at this point. But man, is she not taking a lot of damage. 
I thought at this point she'd be taking a little bit more, although it is not a plus 10 weapon, but normally I don't have a plus 10 weapon at this stage. Whatever, they're both dead. Quailax, there's a fire weapon, but yes, that's what I was hoping for. I was hoping that there would be a fire weapon buff. Naisu, naisu, naisu. This is kind of exactly what I was hoping to get. If I'm not gonna lie. You can make some like neat setups here with the pyromancies. Alright, so that was a nice boss. After the underwhelming nature of the area, which was partly due to the glitch. I really like that. I think I do remember that Quelag had cut dialogue. I do remember people talking about that. Holy shit, this looks different. The lighting is like really strange. The whole area is super bright. I don't know if that's the mod or if that's just the remaster because that should sure as hell didn't look like this. Okay, maybe now. Maybe it just the Instagram filter had to be swiped, you know. Oh, come on. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Alright. Yeah, it was just the filter. So before it was the smell of shit. Okay. Thank fuck for that. I wanted to test if these things are hostile or not. Just as an just to run an experiment, you know, for obvious reasons from the previous area, you know, negative experiences. Cool, hopefully this is the only like anomaly here and we can move on. I'm gonna get four attunement slots. Uh, before I actually, before I get anything else, let me check the requirements. Slumbering flame, cast a bright flame that explodes on contact. Quailax Fury twelve twelve. See, this is why you check, and I can almost get the other one too. Uh, let's see, Quailag's Fury. That's what I was thinking. Performs exactly as desired. Uh, let me see if I can get rid of standard fireball. I think combustion might be better. No? I'm not sure. Let's ascend <laughs> this character. This character is goofy looking, as all characters are. So what I'm gonna do is, oh fuck. I'll go into the little side area where the Firekeeper soul normally is, th right there. Just to see what's over there. And then, you know, Do you see that accuracy? Hell yeah. Okay, I'm one level too low. And yeah, I think we're gonna go on to Sans Fortress. The thing I'm most annoyed about is the NPC fights because these new NPC fights they added are actually kind of fun. So it's okay. Let's ride it out. So it's kind of a shame that we get to miss out on them. Or we had to miss out on them. Where the fuck is the other one? He's like not hitting me. Oh, there you are.
God, these guys are annoying. They're so fucking fast with that. Thankfully, I've picked up a couple of blooming mosses. And I kind of had a feeling there would be no Firekeeper soul here. Oh yeah, and right, if the launcher questline progresses according to like how it should, there shouldn't be a fire bomb link bomb or a firelink shrine bonfire when we get back. Toxic mist. Nice! Okay, that's actually good because that means I can use the exploit and rescue Solaire because well, because you know. Hell yeah. And things are actually going pretty well here, considering. Sure. This would have been a lot more interesting if we actually had enemies, but hey. It's the nature of modding, isn't it? Who the fuck knows what the hell went wrong? I couldn't find anything on it, honestly. I looked on... Like, the forums and everything. Specifically for this enemy glitch. I couldn't find anything. Holy shit. Why am I yawning? Probably because it's unbelievably fucking cold today. And we had, like... I don't know, 100 kilometer winds. Not that that has anything to do with me yawning, but generally the weather's been just like this over the past couple of weeks. Alright, let's leave poop area. Stop the health drain. Thank you. And let's see what happens in the shrine. Oh, you gotta be like real careful. Because I like instinctually tend to just walk through this place without paying attention to anything. And you can't exactly do that because this place is full of enemies. I see you. Wanna see fire? I'll show you fire. And this Wanderer code looks so nice. It's probably the most Bloodborne-ish, aside from Chester set. The like most Bloodborne-ish armor set. Because it's like a big overcoat. Yup, 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 yup. Not unexpected, honestly. Did you ring the second bell? That is incredible, I must say. Now we have a new problem. It's noisy. It snores. And its breath is lethal. This is no laughing matter. I, 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 I love how sincere he sounds in that dialogue. Pretty funny. Four thousand. I'll, I'll again. I, I'll, I'll hold off on the souls. Somebody said that I should bring the Black Knight souls here. Weren't people saying the altar at Firelink? The question is which altar? What a bruh. Ah, hello. Was it you who ran the bell of awakening? I am the protecting against his breath. I can't stand this guy's fucking teeth chattering. 
so like irritating. Sorry for skipping the dialogue. Anyways, okay, it's just what it is. Gesture tutorials is exactly what we're looking for. I should hit up the bonfire, honestly. That would be the smart thing to do, but... I want to get that treasure. Because how the fuck do you get over there? Damn. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go up. Rest at the bonfire and we can mess around with the treasure chest later. I might have enough large tit titanite shards for a weapon upgrade. And weirdly, enemies work perfectly fine here. Strange. It must be like some, but it, that's, you know, that's the reason I'm saying that I can't even imagine what the error could be. That it only affects one particular area. Seems like such a weird thing. Oh well. I'm not gonna like lose sleep over it, you know. As long as it doesn't keep happening, I'm I'm perfectly okay. Rest up question is what should we do? Should we go and rescue Dusk or try to rescue Dusk? Because that's like another... We'll have to give it... I could have given it to the guy actually. Now that I think about it... Oh well. What we're gonna do... You know what? How am I doing on time? Still got a couple of minutes. You know what? Let's do the dusk. The dusk thing. The only issue is I haven't been able to find any more of these skeletons. Like, I keep finding the chests. Or like the graves or whatever. But not the skelly attendant that I like woke up in that one area. Which is the weird part. Maybe there's like a specific order you have to unlock them in. Could be. This area is so relaxing. It's like... I can almost imagine what it would feel like to be here. Kind of like cold air, damp. But still kind of pleasant, you know? I guess it's just the ambient sounds that are kind of relaxing in this place. Can't believe they added lacerating arrows. That would actually be pretty useful in this game because bleed was very, very powerful. Lacerating bolts would be even more of a would be even more of a thing with Avalyn Stone Great Shield. I might as well come in here. Or you should be able to hit up a There is no bonfire. Interesting. Interestingly, I I thought there would be less bonfire changes. There's quite a few. From what I've noticed. I 
Oh yeah, and I haven't checked out the Havel area yet. God, there's a lot of empty space here. Now that we're thinking about it, we're thinking about it. Can't even talk. They get rid of the crystal golems. I always thought, to be a hundred percent honest with you, I always thought that the crystal golems didn't really fit this area. Shit. I thought I had the key. I know it's supposed to be like the tie-in because uh, the Moonlight Butterfly is like Seath's creation and why am I not buffing up? And I guess that was the idea as to why we had <sighs> these cats here. Are you telling me they no longer... Are they no longer friendly firing? Oh yes they are. Okay, cool. I'm like really scared of this cat. Because I have a sneaking suspicion that it's gonna activate. And then I'm fucked. Come on, one more. Hit it. And I got killed. And the cat stayed alive. But it got blasted. God, I don't have time, do I? Shit. I don't. Unfortunately, it's fairly late, so I don't want to drag out this episode. I knew that was gonna happen. Fucking, as soon as I saw the cat, I was like, that's exactly what's gonna happen. It's gonna wake up and it's gonna kill me. Turns out that's not the thing that killed me. Don't worry, I'm just... Oh, fucking seriously? Ugh. No way. This is bad. Why are enemies not working? Come on, attack me. Attack me, come on. Do it. Do it. Fuck, this is not good. This is like actually legit not good. Because how the hell am I gonna fix this? It's such a weird, it's such a weird glitch. Oh, nice. Let's get the skelly boy. As you can see from my slunched sitting position, I'm kind of sad about this because... What am I gonna do? I'll check if there's like a fix or something. Thanks, bruh. Let's see where this... That's the fun part about this. It's a mystery as to where this leads. Oh, fuck. Okay. That's some interesting... I guess the <laughs> these fucking two areas are linked. The two areas where enemies don't work. But that's the issue. This is going to keep happening. Okay, I'm going to need to do some deep digging here. Uh, to come up with some solution. Fuck, that's not good. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I will really try to fix this for the next episode, hopefully. I will succeed. I will let you know anyways as to what I can manage. Until then, thanks for watching. If you did like this episode, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, take care, and see you next time. Peace out.